Well, hello and welcome to the living room of the dollhouse for another reading from the secret language of birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers for September 17th, the day of perseverance. That's right. Near the top of the page is a visual representation of the day of perseverance. We have us a, an upturned flower pot by the looks of it with a dower looking daisy kind of poking through that hole that's there for drainage. Uh, is that a good representation of your day? Well, who's to say? Sometimes we can't really figure out why they chose what they chose, but maybe we can figure it out later, but that's not important. What is important is it is September 17th and ostensibly it's your birthday today. And if that's the case, I want to extend you a heartfelt happy birthday. And if this video finds you long or shortly after your day is already come and gone, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. That's right. We're here to wish you happy birthday. And for everyone else who's just joining us randomly or more ideally to celebrate September 17th birthday, I want to say uh, hello, welcome, and I hope you enjoy yourself. Now, before we dive in with the birthday read direct, hey, let's roll some dice. This is the Diecast birthday cast, so we got to live up to namesake, but more importantly, we do it for synchronicity's sake. That's right. And rolled us a four and a one four or five. Now, what is synchronicity? Some of you may be wondering. Well, it's just you getting out in the world and letting the universe show you it's with you on your path. And you do that by taking these numbers into your heart there, or letting the universe know that's what they are, or you can roll your own. This is just here with the intention for you. Uh, and it'll show you these numbers, or at least you keep your eye out for those numbers. There's no guarantee it's going to show them to you. But when you see them, you chase after them. That's right. Because you don't want to let your signs get away, right? Well, sometimes they do. All right. It's just inevitable. But when they do, that means you stop and you wait for some others. That's right. Sometimes it can be your numbers. It might be on a license plate of a car. You chase that a while. It might be on a city bus. Maybe you jump on that, get off on another stop. Uh, it's just when you see them, you chase after them. And who's to say? It might lead you to some street you've never been down. Maybe maybe 41st Street, and it might take you into a shop that you've never been in. Maybe it's got a 5 or a 14 in the address. And maybe it's a flower shop with some daisies and some upturned flower pots. You never know if there's a theme that might just get in there on account of the synchronicity. You got to just keep your eyes open. Um, even the subtlest signs can be glaring, you know. But uh, nonetheless, it doesn't have to always be big glaring things. It can be nice, subtle, small little things. Just to let, the, uh, just to let you know the universe is with you on your path. I think you get the point. So in any event, a four and a one for a five. Let's dive in with your birthday. Your month of September, your day the 17th, your sign is 23 to 25 degrees Virgo of the Virgo three period specifically, and your quality and elements is mutable earth. All right, September 17th, the day of perseverance. Whether creative or not, September 17th, people are known for their perseverance in achieving goals. Although it may take them many years, and they seem to like it that way, they are not only capable of building a career and attaining stature, but also managing to stay on top for some time. And those born this day are heavies, difficult to get around and even more difficult to suppress. Once their course is set for an objective, no matter how high or humble, they are virtually unstoppable. And although they can be very enthusiastic for the most part, a high seriousness and commitment colors practically everything they do. Facing obstacles and overcoming them is par for the course for September 17th people. They are not typically ones to crush opposition with a lightning blow, but rather wear their opponents down with relentlessly applied pressure. They themselves operate very well under the same pressure and are rarely prone to nerves or a fatal lack of self-confidence in critical situations. It follows that they can be relied on to perform in difficult and trying times. And although they can be creative, most September 17th people are physically tough, admirably stubborn, left-brain logical thinkers, and they organize their thoughts consequently and reason that if A is true, then B must necess necessity follow. 
then B must of necessity follow. That's more properly read. Those born in this day have a strong feeling for justice and a fair settling of disputes, and will not only insist on being treated fairly, but also on being recognized for their accomplishments. And not surprisingly, September 17th people can make excellent lawyers or arbiters. And generally, September 17th people favor the status quo, although they may work for gradual change to better existing institutions. Now, even the most radical born on September 17th will eventually find their place in the establishment. And perhaps this is due to their feeling for structure, literal expression, and a dislike of disorder and anarchy. And those born in this day can often be found on the side of conservationists who value the preservation of living things and folk traditions. But despite their conservationism, September 17th, or conservatism rather, despite their conservatism, September 17th people have a strange sense of humor that sets them apart from their fellow man. They are capable of doing the most ordinary things in an eccentric way, and usually they are not as serious as they seem, and if in relaxed company can be a lot of fun. They do not revel this, reveal rather, they do not reveal this side of themselves spontaneously, however, so particularly those who work with them may never see it. On September 17th, people rarely go out of their way to impress, shock, or attract others. They are highly self-contained, having little need for the kind of adulation or nursing that could leave them vulnerable to the vagarities or unpredictabilities, in Webster's terms, of human whims and feelings. For them, emotion is a serious thing, and not to be expressed at the drop of a hat. Therefore, when they say, I love you, the words carry some significance. Well, all right. Hey, let's dive into some notes and see what I had to say about your birthday breakdown. Perform a little bit of a commentary, if you like. All right. September 17th, known for their perseverance in achieving their goals, whether creative or not. And like many Virgos uh, in the days before you, well, patience is often a key in attaining their respective success. Albeit, it mentions that you may prefer patience, all right, which I, it didn't mention with the other Virgos, all right. So you may be a special case in that manner. And bully for you, really, uh, as most folks can't stand a prolonged process, especially when they're striving for success. You know, it just can't come quick enough, usually. But you're a heavy, apparently, whatever that means, all right? Difficult to get around and objective all the way through. I guess that's what that means. Uh, and if those positives weren't enough, all right, you're enthusiastic as well, all right? And again, a unique trait and instrumental to success, at least in my mind. As if you aren't enthused well, with work or your other projects, there's often an element of negativity, I figure. And it's not as though good work can't come from negativity. It's just that uh, it's harder oftentimes, right? And sometimes that negativity will bleed through. Or perhaps in the same way, you wear your opponents down, uh, you know, with your constant pressure. Um, well, maybe that's the same thing for that negative energy. Enough of it builds up and adds up to an ill result. So you got to be enthusiastic. You got to get excited, as I like to say. Even when I get out of bed in the morning and get ready for them projects, got to get excited, even though I'm not. But we got to, your enthusiasm reads. That's why I have to say smile on the telephone. I think you get the point. Uh, but enough on that. The reading says that... Um, I'm speaking to a left brain logical thinker, and my A premise might not contribute to a B conclusion necessarily following. So, you know, maybe negativity is just fine, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the reading also conveys a concern for conservationism and a strong feeling for justice and a strange sense of humor uh, setting you apart, all right? And it means uh, of doing things in an eccentric way. Uh, which, if it isn't obvious, 
I personally appreciate, all right, and I identify with as well. Uh, but to that end, as far as emotions are concerned and you considering them valuable um, and a conveyance of personal feelings not delivered as platitudes, hey, I'm right there with you, all right? People say thank you and this and that. And I mean, it's, it's polite and such, but they're just throwing it around. Even thank yous, they're just throwing them around. You got to mean it. You got to make that eye contact. You got to be enthusiastic. I don't know. You get all of it, it sounds like. And uh, like I said, I can appreciate it. So with that being said, let's dive into your numbers and your planets. All right. Those born on the 17th of the month are ruled by the number eight as one plus seven equals eight. And by the planet Saturn. All right. And Saturn carries with it a strong feeling of limitation and restriction and also tends to indicate a judgmental aspect as well oh, and the number eight suggests a conflict between the material and the spiritual worlds and those ruled by this number can be lonely and also prone to indulge in excess oh, and the combined influence of saturn and mercury which is virgo's ruler emphasizes the serious side of September 17th people. All right. They dove into a couple of the negatives that weren't necessarily mentioned in the uh, breakdown itself. So that's interesting. Well, let's see what I had to say about your numbers and your planets. All right. The number eight in the constrictive planet Saturn opposed to the expansive planet Jupiter for that structure, order, and taking responsibility for your decisions kind of energy, at least as far as the back of the book is concerned. Sometimes I like to go to the back where it breaks down all the planets, um, just to get a little bit of a different take on uh, what they don't normally feed in to the uh, numbers and planets reading. Uh, that being said, uh, here the reading claims a feeling of limitation, despite you being the kind of person relied upon to perform in difficult times, as the breakdown said. Though maybe that's a restriction in and of itself, all right? Being relied upon, I mean. You've got your own things to do, so how's that for a, a judgment, all right? Don't worry, I said it for you, okay? Um, I'll be your vocal advocate for your birthday, all right? So you can save face, all right? You don't have to come to your own defense in that regard. Uh, serious as it supposedly is, at least based on that Saturn Mercury rulership, the co-rulership rather. It's your birthday, so someone should be your advocate. You shouldn't always be relied upon, all right? So there's your judgment. There's your judgment there that it mentioned. All right, so let's uh, dive in with your tarot. That's right. One of the more eclectic of the metaphysical ideologies and philosophies, um, but it's in the book. So why not broaden our horizons and at least see what it has to say? And it's fun. It's interesting. So let's dive in with your tarot. In the major arcana of the tarot, the 17th card is the star, which shows a beautiful naked girl under the stars pouring refreshing water on the parched earth with one pitcher and reviving the stagnant water of a pond with the other. She represents the glories of the earthly life, but also material slavery to it. And the stars above her are an eternal reminder of the presence of the spiritual worlds. September 7th people, then, should always be aware of excessive physicality as the Virgo Earth dynamic and never forget the higher goals of life. Cultivating kindness towards others is an important lesson in this respect. Though I would say if you relied upon in dire times, you're doing that already. <laughs> That's my argument. I'm your advocate, remember? It is your birthday. All right, what do I have to say about your tarot here? All right, the star bringing life to parched earth and fresh waters to the brackish filth. That's right. A representation of the earthly life and our slavery to it. But I say reach up to the spiritual despite that, whatever the spiritual means to you. That wilting flower growing from the bottom of the upturned pot. All right, stilted, but persevering in an otherwise difficult situation that's right pushing through the obstacles that's right even if it's a drainage hole all right hey that's been your tarot let's dive in with your health 
All right. Whether September 17th people have sedentary or dynamic professions, they should engage in quite strenuous physical exercise since they often have a tendency to gain weight. They did call you heavy, didn't they? I was like, what are they calling people heavy for? They have a tendency to gain weight. Cutting back on fats and excessive protein will be vital to their health particularly if they wish to avoid cardiovascular difficulties. And those born on this day do best when satisfying their sexual needs in a permanent loving relationship. Whenever possible, they should avoid physical and emotional confrontations. All right, hey, what I have to say about your health? It was a pretty quick health entry there. Usually it's a little bit longer than that. Strenuous exercise in a diet cutting back on fats and excessive proteins. Whatever excessive proteins are. I don't know if I've heard that before. To avoid heart issues, apparently. Um, let's see. I know the fat might contribute to cholesterol, but what's the overabundance of protein doing? Uh, let's see. We're, uh, but I'm not a nutritionist, so, you know, don't really listen to what I say about the diet. But that said, maybe be mindful as they do personalize these recommendations. Not everybody gets strenuous exercise. Some people, it tells them not to by the most, but they say they don't need to worry about it. Now, how that's uh, figured out by the stars or dictated by it, that's anybody's guess. But uh, hey, be relegated to you. I stay healthy, all right? That's the point here. Uh, what else does it say? But avoiding physical and emotional confrontations seems like universal advice to me, at least for anyone, by my mind. Uh, but that being said, they don't always mention that to folks. So maybe those things might affect you in a different kind of way. So just be mindful of it. Be open to it, I suppose. In any event, hey, that's been your health. Let's dive in with some more advice. Yeah, let's do some advice here. Judging others may be your worst habit. How about that? Try to be more accepting. Make time for fun, all right? Goofiness and silliness are nothing to be afraid of. Get out of the way and let others come through. Oh, real quick in and out on the advice there. But that doesn't mean it didn't have value. All right. Judging others, your worst habit, huh? I guess I wonder how I'm coming off. All right. That's not to take the focus off you. It is your birthday. But yeah, make time for some goofiness and some silliness. I like that. And it's a first that I remember reading it in the book. So, uh, you know, have fun with things. You're enthusiastic. Maybe lean into that a little bit. Go way down the enthusiastic line into a little bit of goofiness. It's going to improve the workload by any measure, I would, I would argue. In any event, that's been your advice. Uh, let's take the energy down just a hair and dive in to your meditation. All right, your meditation. The hand is the map and the heart is the guide. All right, once more. The hand is the map. The heart is is the guide all right that's your meditation i'm not going to break it down for you it's your birthday your meditation i would just throw some spin on it that might not help you out all right hey that's been your meditation so let's move on to your strengths and your weaknesses all right now we're getting down to business here your strengths your persistence your tenacious and you're undaunted Ooh, all right that's right now your weaknesses Ooh, your weaknesses. Hold your breath. Let's see what we get here. You're conservative. <laughs> you're fixed. And you're heavy. I don't know what the... That seems a little tenuous there. I think is the right word for that. Heavy, fixed, and conservative. I don't know. Conservative is not necessarily a bad thing. I don't know what they mean by heavy uh, and fixed. I guess they want you to be more dynamic. But you know what? It says you was dynamic all over this read. So I don't know quite what they mean by any of that. Take it in earnest or make it apply towards what you need it to apply to. Uh, that's, that's about all I have to say on that. So there's been your strengths and your weaknesses. Let's dive in with those born on this day. All right. Hey, and when we get in with the born on this day read, I like to take a moment to examine something that I think is important, and that's figuring out your passions. That's right. And you may know what they are, but a lot of us, well, we have trouble figuring that out. Uh, and I say that because I get out in the world and I meet folks and I ask them what they do. And more importantly, if they like it, 
And oftentimes they don't. And you know what? Perfectly understandable in this life and times. We don't have the time to put in the work to figure those things out. You're getting right out of school and you're getting into a job, trying to find some security, uh, get meals on the table, pay the mortgage, get the bed sheets washed, all of that stuff. No time to think about what you enjoy doing and let alone making money at it. So I figured this is the perfect opportunity to see who not only shares your company, but what they did to become famous or get in the book. It might not necessarily be their passion, but it might give you a little bit of inspiration if you don't know what yours are or you're having trouble drilling down on it. In any event, let's dive in with those born on this day. We start off strong with Hank Williams Sr. That's right. The legendary country singer and songwriter. We also have William Carlos Williams, a poet and a pediatrician. Warren Berger was a Supreme Court Chief Justice. Sam Irving, U.S. Senator of North Carolina, and he presided over the Watergate Committee. We also have Frederick von Steuben, who was a German U.S. Revolutionary War soldier. Washington's advisor. We have Anne Bancroft, a film actress, George Blanda, an NFL, AFL, football quarterback, place kicker, an all-time leading scorer, and the longest active football career with 26 seasons, it says. We have Frederick Ashton, a British choreographer, dancer, and innovator. Sir Francis uh, Chichester sailed solo around the world. How about that? I think that's the first we've seen that one in here before. Maureen Conley, a U.S. champion tennis player and the first woman to win the Grand Slam, three-time Wimbledon, and a U.S. Open winner. We have Ken Kesey, the novelist of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Phil Jackson, a New York Knicks basketball forward and Chicago coach, and he took the Bulls to three consecutive NBA titles. Though this was copyright 1994, that might have been a little bit more than that. Uh, we have Chaim Herzog, was an Israeli president and a lawyer. Ava Burroughs, a Salvation Army head. We also have James S. Brady, the Reagan press secretary, lawyer, and critically injured in the assassination attempt, with his wife becoming a gun control advocate. We also have David Souter, who's a Supreme Court justice. Uh, we also have Sterling Moss, a British race car driver, 16 Formula One event winner. And we have Maurizio Vital, Swiss-Italian clothes designer. Roddy McDowell, the British stage film TV actor. And Orlando Sepedi, uh, Sepeda, St. Louis card slugger. All right. Card slugger. I didn't say Cardinals. Man, it was all over the place with this particular day. A sailor. We had the writers, artists. Uh, what else was in there um, that I found interesting? The novelist. Uh, it, it, I'm, I'm already over the... <laughs> I can't recall. Any event. Hey, you had, you had a broad swath of individuals who made their stamp in the world. And so hopefully you take some inspiration for that if you need it. Uh, any event, that has been your birthday read by and large, except to say your season is summer. Your sign, once again, is Virgo of the Virgo three period specifically. And your quality and element is mutable earth. And this has been September 17th, the day of perseverance from the secret language of birthdays by gary goldschneider and you stelfers i have an affiliate link for this book down in the description if you're interested in picking up a copy diving in a little bit further it makes a great coffee table book especially if you have company over and you want to get the conversation started with some kind of interesting icebreaker this is going to do it for you now whether that conversation is for better or for worse it's going to be flowing that's right so consider picking you up a copy if you need something interesting uh, but other than that that's not important what is important here is it's your birthday and i just want to wish you again a happy birthday that's right get out there find you your signs for your daily numbers and let the universe show it's with you on your path and for everyone else hey those numbers apply to you too get out to do something interesting find your your signs that's right but i just want to thank you for stopping by and celebrating the september 17th birthday with us uh, in any event i hope you're doing well taking care of yourself and for september 17th people you're having a happy birthday all right take care of yourself now <laughs>